All right. Here's the fifth test. Let's see, it looks like we're adding two each time. So we added two, added two, added two. So we'd add two to get that one. So when you're adding two multiple times, that's multiplication. That's why it's 2x. And it started off at 5, so that's the plus 5. So if I want to find what's in figure 1,000, it's 1,000 times 2 plus the 5. And here's the function notation, just telling you take that value and plug it in for the x's. So f of negative 2 would be negative 2 in for those x's. And then you just use the order of operation and simplify. So I do exponents first, so that's 4. Negative 2 squared is 4, times 4 is 16. Negative times a negative makes it a positive. And then I'm just subtracting that 3. Add them, subtract. All I do is take an x, plug it in, find my y. Plug in 0. 0 times negative 3 is negative 6. Plug in 1. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Minus 6 is negative 9. And you just plot each point. So 0, negative 6. 1, negative 9. Dot. Draw your line. And same thing here. Plug your 0 in, 0 in. 0 squared is 0. 0 times negative 3 is 0. Negative 4. Well, 1, 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 times the negative 3 is negative 3 minus 4. So that gives you a negative 6. And that's your 1, negative 6. Keep plotting points till you figure out where the vertex is. It'll start repeating itself. So I know the vertex is right in between. That's why it's my lowest spot right there. Just plug in the values until you find all the y's. Oh, here we go. There's our slope. It's always the number that's multiplied to the x. So there he is. My y-intercept, 0, negative 6. So 0, negative 6, I put a dot. And I go up 5, over 4. So it's the rise over the run. A 5 over 4, a 5 over 4, or I can go down 5, back 4. Y intercept, 0, 1. Slope, negative 1. There's always a 1 in front of that. X, we're just lazy and we don't write it. So it's 1. And negative slope, so it's going to go downhill, so I go down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. Or I can go up 1, then back 1. Positive direction, negative direction, positive, negative. Here I just look down and say, hey, there's my y-intercept. It's 0, negative 5. So that means it's going to be a minus 5. Find another nice point. Not nice, not nice. Ooh, it goes right through a lattice point there. Up and over. So it goes up 3 over 1. Rise. Rise is 3, runs over 1. So that's why it's a 3x. Intersects the y at 0, 0. So that's why it's a... We don't write plus 0. That's just weird. And then... It goes down 1 over 4. So that's 4 and that's 1. The slope is negative because it's going downhill from left to right. It's going downhill. So that's negative slope, negative 1 fourth. Using algebra to solve this, you would substitute that in for the y. Since it's equal to y, you can just plug it right in for the y and find out whether they're the same or equal. Put them equal to each other. Solve it. You get x equals 3. Plug your 3 back into one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. And you get your 4. So those two lines better intersect at 3, 4. 3, 4. When I graph that line, I start here at negative 2. I go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Start at negative 8. And my slope is 4, so I go up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1. And see how they intersect at the same spot. That's where they're the same. That's where they're the same for a line. Just solve an equation, combine like terms. That's where most of you made your mistake. Uh, add 30 to both sides, or 35, excuse me. Add 35 to both sides, and you can get 30. Divide by 5, and you get your 6. Most people got that one right. You just plug your 6 in, 6 in there. 
and then comes out to be negative 5 is equal to negative 5 so there's your solution there and then distribute combine like terms when I add 2x to both sides the x's disappear and leave me something that's not true so that's no solution